What is going on guys, George or Regen here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to hook up your Zim Apex to your Xbox, PC, or PS4. Uh, in this video, you're gonna see me use it on the Xbox One, but it will be hooked up the exact same way on all the consoles. Watch all the way to the end to understand exactly how to do it. Peace. Standings, this is what it looks like for you as well. I know there is one other Zim uh, Apex out there. I believe it's called the Zim Apex 4, the Zim 4, or something like that. But this is the one I'm going to be using. I'm pretty sure it's a very similar setup. You have the Zim, you have the Zim Hub, and you have the app on your phone. I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about it. So first of all, uh, first off, make sure you go on your phone and you download the Zim Apex app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Now, after it connects, you have to have Bluetooth on and then press the connect button. You don't need to have this app running all the time. You just need to if you're gonna change your settings. Now, from here, once it's downloaded, so it's ready for the end, you're gonna wanna go over to the Zim Apex itself, okay? I'm gonna leave mine plugged in, but I'm gonna talk in detail exactly what you need. So the console piece here, you wanna plug into your Xbox, PlayStation, or PS4, or, or uh, PC. This piece right here. Now after that, you will get a wire that runs along it to the hub. The hub from there, you're gonna have three pieces, all right? And each piece will have a dot. With each piece, dot number one will be the mouse. Dot number two will be the keyboard, and dot number three will be the controller that you plug in that stays turned on, okay? With the controller, I, for the Xbox, actually was able to use a Beats headphones to plug into my Xbox. If you guys wanna use a microphone, what you're gonna do is plug your microphone into your Xbox controller and leave your um, Xbox controller on because it's gonna be constantly charging because of the Zim hub. That being said, do not forget that you need your mouse in port one. If you see the dots there, the mouse in port one, the keyboard in port two, and the controller in port three. Now, after that is hooked up, what you're gonna do is this should start flashing once it has power, okay? It turns blue and pulses. Now, from there, you wanna go into the app. Now, these are my settings for Fortnite, um, 40 uh, hip, 40 ADS, obviously all the actions you can change, but on the app is where you customize your key bindings to the Zim itself. That is all that I can show you from this video. As you guys can see, my um, my home screen, like me pressing the keyboard button, it moves. It moves the home screen there. So, and also me clicking my wireless mouse also makes it work. So yeah, as you guys can see, it is very fully functional and there's zero input lag. I love this thing so, so much and I hope you guys can benefit from this video. If it did help you, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. But this is Regen or George signing out. <laughs>